There's constantly research being done on how to improve the quality and efficiency of embedding models and strategies. And one of the most exciting recent developments was this paper on Matrioska representation learning. In any sort of machine learning application, the secret to how models learn is within the loss function. The loss function defines the objective that the model is trying to optimize, and there are different types for different applications. Intuitively, you can consider a basic loss function as something that rewards the model when it predicts something correctly. Machine learning models also learn some kind of internal representation of the data, like a vector, before they make a prediction. The larger this representation is, the more accurate the model becomes, but it also slows down the processing. Matryoshka representation learning makes a key change to the loss function, which in turn optimizes the learned representation of the data in order to make more accurate predictions with smaller dimension sizes. So how does this work? We can break the vector down into individual dimension ranges, for example, up to 8 dimensions and up to 16, 32, and so on. This is m in the equation. Instead of just having one loss for the entire vector of 2048 dimensions, now our loss total is the sum of all the losses of the vector dimension ranges. So the loss of the first eight dimensions, plus the loss of the first 16 dimensions, plus the loss of the first 32 dimensions, all the way up to the loss of the full 2048 dimensions. In regular embeddings, all dimensions have the same capacity to store information. But in Matryoshka representation learning, the first dimensions end up storing much more information than the later dimensions. These nested representations can then be applied to pretty much any type of application, whether it's classification, retrieval, or representation learning. Basically, as long as you have a loss function, which is pretty much all of machine learning. If we apply MRL to vector embedding tasks, because earlier dimensions end up storing more of the information the later dimensions, we can also use Matryoshka embeddings as a compression technique by removing dimensions from the end of the sequence and only using a subset of the dimensions of the embedding vector. In most compression techniques, you need to take an existing set of embeddings and retrain a model or a function to optimize them. The nice thing about Matryoshka representation learning is that optimization is already part of the initial embedding creation process, taking out one step from your machine learning pipeline. Also, Matryoshka representation learning ends up performing really well on the classification and retrieval tasks they did on this paper. For the image classification tasks, MRL is on par with the independently trained FF model, which is a new model specifically trained for each dimension size, and way better than dimensionally reduction techniques like SVD. Similarly, for the image retrieval tasks, MRL had consistently better performance across all representation sizes. There are links in the description to learn more.